Good morning, YouTube. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm currently doing some editing for my video today. It's gonna go live in a few hours. And I just wanted to say, welcome to the vlog. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 8.30 now and I'm about to go do some cardio. I am gonna start taking my BCAs now because I hit a new low weight this morning, 179.2, which is 0.2 pounds lighter than yesterday. And I have dropped 11, almost 12 pounds since the beginning of this prep. And it's about that time, BCAs. So call me bro. Bro Guzman, but I'll be doing five to 10 grams. I'm not gonna be loading like 20, 25 grams a day like some people do. I'll be doing five to 10 grams a day. So yeah. Do you have it before you work out? Uh, usually I don't take them, but this prep I'm going to because it's one of those things where it's like, if you can get any sort of benefit from them, I'm gonna do it, you know? You Even it, before well, I'm gonna do five grams during my cardio. And then it's an off day, but I would do five grams during my workout too. Mm -hmm. But I have them, they're readily available, so I'm gonna take them. I'm not saying you have to. Cardio done. I just got four ounces of 96.4 turkey that I already had pre-made from the meal prep video. And I have five egg whites measured out here. A low temperature. Do you guys recommend putting the salt and pepper on after everything's cooked? Or like in this mixture? I'm done with low. Maybe I have some shifts. Watching the channel. talk to you guys about some business stuff real quick and sort of what's on my mind okay so I'm currently outside of Wells Fargo finished up some stuff that I had to do this is just from my experience things I've encountered over the last year year and a half a lot of times we're going into my banking right I've got Wells Fargo and in there we've got certain accounts right so every single business has its own account you've got personal account then you have Alpha athletics to clothing then you have the gym and then you've got my coaching and then from those personal investments you have like my detox and you have my project X which is a big investment um, and other investments that I make as well but that happens in Wells but then Wells Fargo, I'm not trying to bash Wells Fargo, I'm not trying to bash these more larger banks, Wells, Chase, but I will say that I have in the last eight, nine months made the transition over. Now I still have accounts over here and I still keep money in those accounts, but I've made the transition over to a more personal private bank, a much, much, much smaller bank to where I know Wells and Chase offer personal bankers and everything, but my personal banker over here, like it's a completely different experience. And there's so many more benefits from utilizing my money over here and doing all my wire transfers over here. I used to like, literally guys, I used to go to the bank three, four times, or probably two, three times a week to send wires. I mean, if it's international, you literally have to sit there and they have to call and verify you and you're on hold. Like you literally spend an hour, 30 minutes to an hour easily inside of the bank every single time, just on the phone, kind of like waiting. <laughs> and everything is so efficient now to where now instead of sending one or two wires a week, it's not uncommon for us to send four to five wires a week, different things. We're doing this, 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 this. And now it's the touch of a button. And so I have my assistant, Becky, she's on, boom, the authority on a certain list so where she can submit things. Then they call me really quick. Hey, Mr. Guzman, is this going out? This amount, blah, 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 done, done. And, and that right there has saved me hours and hours and hours. And just now, like I just had to transfer from Wells to my other more private bank, my, my own accounts, my personal accounts, a domestic wire. It took 30 minutes because the internet went down and the computer's running slow. And like, it's nothing that they're doing wrong. It's just like, it, time is everything in business. Definitely look at investing in 
putting your time into going with a smaller bank. A lot of times there's many benefits, especially if you already have a fairly established business and income and everything. They, they just get so much more out of it than going through all this stuff. And so, yeah, that's just something I've learned. Um, and of course, all those accounts you set up over here as well. And recently, we've just been getting like, I have really good credit card options. So instead of just debit cards, pretty much everything's running on these points now, right? So everything I buy, I literally don't buy anything unless I'm getting some sort of points and rewards from them. So uh, for our biggest account, we get flights, we get travel points, right? So literally, we don't really pay for flights because we spend so much in the account to where it comes back into flights and a lot of the travel is covered. The majority of my travel is always covered. So just getting smarter like that, saving money and letting it work for you. So yeah. Time for my smoothie. I'm having myself 100 grams of pineapple, 151 grams of mixed berries, doing one scoop of cereal milk protein, and I'm doing one Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. In my opinion, out of all like the, ch the Chobanis and everything, like this is the best yogurt in my opinion, macro-wise and taste-wise, the vanilla flavor, I absolutely love it. Also, shameless plug, because I'm super excited. My signature pre-workout is dropping this Monday at 5 p.m. Central. It's really good. Final step, water, a little bit of ice. Oh man, look at that. I'll drive. We are going to San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio. We're gonna record some badass videos, some big, real good content. And then tomorrow we're gonna go out to Austin. And Is that Austin, your country accent? Austin's beautiful. Is that you being country? We're gonna we're gonna go to a music festival out there. And I got my meals in the back, and we're good to go. With no further ado, we got a three hour car ride. We're gonna meet up with Javon. Let's get it. We found Chelsea and Javon. Packed a few meals, so we're gonna eat before we get on the road. We're kind of like, like I live here, Javon lives here, and then San Antonio's here, so we stopped on the way. Got some of my ground ground beef. Got some 330 grams of sweet potato, seven ounces of ground beef, and a bunch of grilled or sauteed onions. Probably eat like half of this or so. I'm not that hungry, but I'd rather eat now and then drive. So it's like 3:30. I'm gonna eat because they're eating, honestly. We are uh, on our way to San Antonio. Javon is in the car. Chelsea and Heidi are riding together now, and we're about 45 minutes out or so. And we're doing a Snapchat Q&A, so I'm gonna answer your questions right now. Here we go. How do you truly deal with the haters? How many days a week are you hitting cardio right now? Uh, about four times a week. I am doing 30 minutes right now. Level 10, 30 minutes. So about 50% of the Stairmaster intensity. <laughs> Have you ever used creatine, like especially like when you're bulking up, like just starting fitness and stuff? Five grams a day, every day. Drink a lot of water. Uh, what advice would you give to your 18 year old self right now? Believe in yourself, man. Now, for real, have some confidence in your own decisions. Don't go to others to make your decisions. And my favorite cheat meal. Don't have to. You gotta watch the refeed video, man. <laughs> Tempe, Arizona. When will you be doing another uh, college tour to get out here in AZ? That was fun, man. Arizona was probably my favorite stop that we did. It was did. pretty cool because he was literally at that, that Arcway. Remember that place that we took yeah, the picture Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was right there. He showed that on the snap. Damn. That was, that was cool. a lot of fun. Uh, Steve Cook is opening up a gym in Arizona. So hopefully I'll get invited to the grand opening and I'll see you guys pretty soon. When are you launching a woman's line again? Good question. Women's line's coming. Well, we have a lot of stuff ordered. Uh, so six to seven weeks, we have a very big women's launch. But then in like 12 to 13 weeks, there's an even to blow up the women's line. And it's interesting because Outfleet has been such a male dominant company and that doesn't go unnoticed for sure. That It's definitely a notice and we are taking action. We just had a lot of problems with the women's stuff, but Rest assured, 
things are coming, and they're coming, they're coming in hot, and I think it's gonna be great. Uh, I want to push and push and push for the women's line, and we're not gonna forget about it. I promise. I was wondering if you were ever going to do a um, adjust your macros video during summer shedding. You have your macros right here. You weigh yourself every single day, week one, week two, week three, seven days a week. You take your weekly average, so you add up all your weights, you divide by seven, that's your weekly average. You compare that to week two, and if you're not losing enough weight, which I'll go into more detail, that's when you adjust, that's how I like to adjust, um, kind of week by week, very average weekly weigh-ins. I aim for about, about a pound to two pounds a week. If you're a female, 0.5 to maybe a pound a week. And if you're not dropping that, then think about adjusting. By dropping carbs, primarily, maybe fat. How you and I started dating on December 3rd. That's like the day I asked for you on girlfriend. And that was in Pittsburgh at a Penguins game, front row against Red Wings. It's pretty cool. So nice. that'd be like what? One, three, four, March. four months? Four months. A little over four months. Yeah. If you were to relive one moment, what would it be? I wouldn't necessarily say reliving is the right term, but there's certain things that you do or that you will do hopefully that will sort of that, that give you that feeling just like it, it's so hard to describe it's that feeling of so much emotion like in one you know it's just, so, it, it's just a crazy feeling and the moment that sticks out to me the most is getting my dad his car and uh, like everything that was going on that day like I can't even watch that video it was, it was so much but I think that it's kind of like a tangent but one of my primary goals is to be able to take care of my family and um, you know, in every way possible, really. And I think it's so easy for people to look at other people or other families or situations, be, oh, yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. They're, they're I don't know, but um, just know that internally, you never know the whole situation of people and things going on. And um, I just wanna be sure that my parents never have to worry a day in their life anymore. And I want to help my brother all I can. And, you know, if I can help him in any way, do that. And that is, I think helping your parents is one, like that's the most rewarding thing that I've ever experienced. And so I want to continue doing that to greater extents. And I'm really, that's one of my primary motives, honestly. So yeah, when you guys can do something for your parents, it feels great for sure. All right, Snapchat Q and A is done, but there's one more thing I want to talk to you guys about, and this is like how I want to end the video with this talk. So you want to ask it? You want, you want to ask the whole thing? Yeah. So I'm sure everyone else is curious. What's going to happen pretty much after summer shredding? Like, what, what's what's going to be the process for your channel for the vlogs? So we got what 57 days left or something like that. I'm quitting YouTube. I'm done. <laughs> No, just kidding. What's gonna happen to the vlog? What's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen to Javon? We're all we're gonna disintegrate. What's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Here's the thing with the daily. I've been loving it, okay? And I'm hesitant to say that because I feel like it's been, it's a little bit early to say that, but I've never done daily before. I've done Monday through Friday, summer shredding last year, but I've never gone every single day doing a video. And like, there's no buffer days, guys. Like, we're recording this, we're gonna edit it tonight, and it's going up before 11 or 12 a.m. Central tomorrow morning. Like, it's day to day, it's a constant thing. And as long as I have help making these vlogs, and like, if I can switch off, like, Javon edits two or three a week, and I'm doing three or four a week, and maybe I have Kelvin, and you know what I mean? If we have like a system like that, it's manageable. And as long as I can still focus on the things outside of like editing and stuff that I need to, then like, I really find enjoyment in it. With that said, I feel like I kind of, not just myself, but anytime you daily vlog, I'm definitely learning this, but it's such a, like you're so consumed with the social media and this camera and like what the people are seeing, right? So I'm just so concentrated, cause like this has to get done. There's no way it can't get done, so it has to get done, that you do start neglecting things in real life. And uh, for example, when we went, sorry the camera cut off, but for example, when Heidi and I went to Australia, I was planning on like, or we were planning on extending the trip, going to like kind of stay in Sydney and go see things and enjoy things, but it ended up getting 
almost like washed out because I didn't have any help recording. So I was just vlogging, editing, and like everything that we did, like climbing the bridge and the city, all that cool stuff. Like I was looking through my screen the whole time, and I noticed and I realized that like I'm sacrificing that personal time. And you know, I try to reassure that you know, hey, this is this is temporary. This is not going to be forever. You know, where I'm so focused on this, or if I don't have help like this, like these situations. But you definitely do make sacrifices, and um, there's going to be a fine balance of that. But after summer shredding, I'm not going to be doing every single day of my life vlogs but that's more for like the series this year like kind of documenting every single day i think it's been cool to see me from like 191 point whatever pounds all the way down to high 160s like you're seeing every single day the whole entire transition there's no magic tricks you're seeing every single day which is so cool but i think like a solid four to five videos a week are very doable if i have help and i think if we have those two three days like off off then we're able to produce almost more more engaging content that's not so fitness related. There's only there's only so many times I can talk about reef feeds and macros and alcohol and tracking this and tracking that and cardio and and and, and lifting. Honestly, like I, I love it and that's never going to go away. But throughout the rest of the year, that's going to be toned down just a little bit, so that way I can bring more of actual life in. Like instead of doing a workout edit, we may do an edit of like re or like maybe redoing the office, or we may make an edit of going to this music festival tomorrow and like stuff like that and just keeping it more of life and growing as a person as opposed to just like a competition you know what I mean there's so, so much more to it so um, yeah we're not gonna be going anywhere I love YouTube and I think it's so cool we were just talking like I haven't snapchatted anything in like forever and I'm just so consumed with YouTube and I'm not really posting on Instagram a lot I'm not posting on insta story I'm not doing a lot of Twitter like everything is YouTube and I actually like this a lot more the responsibility of doing this versus keeping up with all these different social medias and like yeah I feel like you kind of water yourself down but here I feel like if you guys want to stay up to date with me with the team you come to the channel and I like having that one platform and really focusing on this one platform of course I do like Instagram I do a little bit here and there but like this is the main one and that's how I like it I've found in the last few weeks and months like I love this platform so much more than anything else you have to be creative with it I think it takes the most effort out of any other platform and therefore I find it more challenging and I, and I just love it um, I have an amazing team with me Javon Kelvin like everyone it just everyone Becca dare everyone contributes and like we're able to make this this is more than just like me and a kid it's so much more than that and everyone else enables this content to be provided to you guys which is awesome so not going anywhere the vlogs may slow down a bit. I'm not going to do daily for the rest of my life. But I think it's just more time for us to push higher quality content. And I want to be able to capture and make things more engaging that aren't necessarily just fitness based. So that's the goal. That makes sense. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, for sure. That's it. So we're going to grab a thumbnail real quick. And tomorrow we're going to a music festival. It's going to be fun uh, to celebrate Lexi's birthday. We're going to see Garrett, who's a longtime friend of mine, like OG. Summer Shredding Season 1 will be a lot of fun. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you tomorrow.